Hello everyone, what's up? It is me, Micah, and welcome to another daily vlog. Guys, guess what? Nabasagan ako ng pot lid sa paa. So ngayon, I'm using like this random lid for my fika pot. Buti na lang kasha siya. I have no idea what to do now. Alam ko sa si Japan home, merong mga iba't ibang sizes ng pot lid. I guess we will never know unless we go there. Alam nyo, grabe pala mag-shatter yung pot lid. When it shattered on my foot, it went like all over the kitchen, the dining, umabot yung iba dun sa may sala. Tapos <laughs> meron kami nakikita sa may banyo. Ganun ka na guys. Kaya hindi talaga maganda kapag yung glass is not tempered. Kaya kapag nagbasag siya, magsashatter siya. So I also got a cut on my foot. You guys don't need to see that. It was running. It was not so bad. But then it really caused me to panic. Pero silver lining out of all of that, walang glass na napunta sa mata ko, sa mukha ko, or any part of my body. Like, it stayed where it fell. It did not bounce, so... That's great. So now I'm just reheating the kare kare that I made um, the other day. Actually, guys, this kare kare na to, it's already pre cooked, so it's packed na lang siya and it's kept frozen. And you can buy it from different supermarkets. It's by Pure Foods. Ang sarap niya kasi slow cooked yung meat. All you have to do is buy the vegetables. Ako nag-add lang ako ng bok choy and then ng eggplant. Ang dami lang iba't ibang mga ulam na ready to cook na talaga and it's very convenient kasi there are times na wala akong time magluto. So I just pop that in the pan and then boom, we have a really good meal. I would highly recommend yung pares. Tapos yun, ito nga ang kare-kare. I have not tried the others yet pero marami akong biniling ibalik. Lechon kawale, tapos non ani kumba ba yon? So I'll update you guys kung masarap yon. Pero so far, ang sa sarap talaga ng mga ready made meals nila. Guys, before I eat, I wanted to show you this journal. Ito yung Take It Easy Budget Journal by Easy Peasy is where I write down all of my expenses. Ngayon, actually, hindi ko trinak yung expenses ko for the month of June. I mean, July. Ay, ano ba? January. So, ang ginagawa ko ngayon since priority namin yung house, mga pinapaayos sa bahay, tapos nun, pati yung mga binibiling gamit, yun yung nilalagay ko dito. And then, this one, I really, really love this. This one is from Penny Pears. I love kasi na yung planner na to, this is for 2022. Separate yung mga, yan na, things to do, things to accomplish, and other small notes lang for the week from your actual journaling. Ayan o, magkahiwalay siya. So, yung weekly overview, of course, for the, for the whole year na yan, meron na yung provisions for 12 months, and then same goes for the journaling. I guess, depending na lang kung gano kayo kadalas mag-journal. I just really, really love the layout of this. Probably my most favorite planner so far. Good morning, Barry. How was your sleep? <laughs> Did you enjoy your nap? We have quite a few things to cover today. So, the past week, nagbenta ako ng mga clothes, mga old clothes na I wanted to not only dispose of, pero to sell so that they can find better homes where they will be more loved and used. So now, meron pa tayong isang box. I'm not sure if you remember this from a vlog that I did. But yeah, we have an entire box of clothes that um, I have to take pictures of so that we can sell. Don't feel anxious. Don't feel shame. Hello everyone, it is day two of this vlog. So I wanted to start by showing you guys some of the pieces, items, mga little decorative items lang that I got for a new house. Also, wow, look at this room. Wow, ang linis, grabe. Ang linis. I've really not had the motivation to fix up this room because we're leaving anyways. Actually, ang dami ko nang nabili na yung mga iba't ibang furniture pieces. They are not here in this house because hindi na sila magkakasya. They will all come at the same time. I don't know how I'm gonna make that happen, but I will. <laughs> On the day of our move in, our first move in. By the way, guys, we will be moving in for like a month for the whole of February because we only have our Sundays to move out our stuff and then move it into the new 
house. All right, let us begin. Oh, I showed you this yesterday, but yeah, I got this from Facebook Marketplace. Grabe yung mga gems na nakikita ko sa Facebook Marketplace. As in, unending. As in, gusto ko nang tumigil na maghanap kasi hindi talaga nauubos yung magagandang mga gamit and ang bilis niya ang mabenta. So, this one is Caesar. Hi, Julius Caesar. Am I even right? Let's just say it's a Greek sculpture. I already have a vision of where I'm gonna put this and what I'm going to mix and match it with. So I'm so excited to be able to show you guys all my different moments that I will be creating in our home. So as you may know, I'm really into vintage. I'm really into old stuff. I don't think I bought anything new for our house. Everything that I've been buying are vintage, mga second hand. I, you know, I love the lived in feel. All right, next one. Ugh. This one I got this from Carousel. It's actually just like a decorative piece. <laughs> I love that it's edgy because I have a lot of items that are more circular in shape. Next one, um, I prayed over this. <laughs> Guys, alam nyo, yung mga pieces talaga na second hand, hindi naman natin alam kung ano yung history nila. Kailangan talaga natin yun really to pray over them and, you know, to rebuke all other spirits that they may come with. This is the next one. This is actually, it's a very heavy frame and the image here is made out of sandstone. I love wood and sand. They just look so good paired with each other. I think this is mahogany. So this I got from Carousel. It came from Mexico. This look, this vibe just goes so well with how I'm going to design the rest of the house. Oh, I want to show you guys these. They're actually not decorative pieces. So these are brass knobs and I am just so in love. I just got them from Lazada for about 40 pesos each. So I plan on changing out the knobs of the existing closet that um, they installed in the house. I'm also going to be doing a lot of DIY projects that I'm incredibly excited to share to all of you. More on painting, but trust me, it's really going to transform this big pieces of furniture. And here, naman, oh, this is actually free. This came with the order that I made, that I placed on carousel for some candle holders. Let's unwrap this first. This one is my favorite out of everything I showed you. Ta-da! Guys, it's pure brass. This is made out of pure brass and it's obviously a candle holder. Such a beautiful moment. I cannot wait to style this on top of coffee table books next to an old decorative bowl. Design ideas are just rushing into my brain right now. Next up, more candle holders that I told you guys about. Oh, to be paired with this one. I love these two. I'm gonna put them next to the Windsor chair that I purchased from Carousel as well. Oh, and lastly, totally forgot about this. <laughs> Look at this bowl! Oh my gosh! So this came from a Japan home, but I just got it off of Facebook Marketplace. It is so beautiful. Look at that curve and fold. It's a masterpiece. And dito na naman tayo sa thinking chair ko. <laughs> you know, this is where I share random reflections to you guys. The other day, God or the Holy Spirit led me to just realize something that really changed my heart in the way that I steward the blessings of the Lord. One day I was just thinking about how we as people are inclined to take care of the things that we borrow from other people, let's say our friends or family. Well, at least for me, that's how I am. Sobrang inaalagaan ko talaga sila more than my own stuff kasi nga, syempre, hindi yun sa atin. And paano kung may mangyari? Kailangan mong bayaran, you will have to replace it. Or paano kung irreplaceable yung gamit? You know, just stuff like that entered my head. And I was thinking, wow, I feel like sa mga binibigay ni God, let's say for example, financially, sobrang kiniklaim ko na mayan siya. Na akin to eh. And it has made me greedy in the way that I use it. And I think so many problems from within me have stemmed from that mine attitude. I believe it was Dane Ortland that said, it's one thing to be shrewd with your money, but it's another thing to trust in it. Because of that attitude, a part of me started growing to trust in money. Started growing to trust in my career, in what I do. In short, it has led me to turn away from trust 
trusting and hoping in the Lord and to trusting and hoping in myself. With that, I want to share with you this word from Psalm 20 verse 7 that says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. At that time, you know, when this was written, that was a symbol of power, having those things, chariots, horses. Today, it's more of, you know, possessions, money, status, career. You know what really gets my brain going and changes my heart is when I'm posed with a question. I was listening to a devotional. I felt so convicted when Dean Ortland asks, will you trust in let's say $10 million or the word of the Lord? Will you trust in $10 million or the word of the Lord? Alam nyo, I'm gonna be 100% na there are times talaga na I worry kasi let's say kulang sa projects tas parang may hinahabol kang bills or hindi lang bills pero may hinahabol kang savings. So parang I end up getting into this funk where in the back of my head while I'm doing my everyday work, I'm worried about money. Meaning, I trust in the money that I have or the money that is given to me. That question changed my mindset because the moment that you start worrying and start having fear in your heart because you don't have enough of this, you do not have enough of that, is the moment when you stop trusting in God and start trusting in the blessings that He gives. That is when the Holy Spirit just revealed to me and opened my eyes that the things that you have, they're really more of like bonuses, really. They're like add-ons that are given to us to borrow. It is not really ours. It is still from God. I mean, why then should we be good stewards of what we are given if it is not the Lord's? So the way that I should handle the things that are give, being given to me, my time, my money, my relationships, I should take care of them like how I would take care of a borrowed thing. I think the moment that I realized that I'm not squandering what is mine and I'm squandering what is the Lord's is what helped me snap out of it. So yeah, I don't know how that speaks to you guys, but sound off down below if you can relate. If not, let me know what your thoughts are. But that is a quick story time of what God has been revealing to me in the past weeks.